Hey guys, it has been a couple of days since I've um, picked up this camera and it feels like more than a couple of days. It's been like three. Last time I uploaded it was Friday, but um, I don't feel fully ready to resume the vlogs yet, but I just want to give you guys a little bit of an update. First of all, I'm alive, <laughs> um, but it has been a weekend of craziness and not fun. Um, so to kind of recap, um, before you guys know that I was feeling sick. It started last Wednesday. I was, my oxygen was dropping. I was just not feeling okay. And then I had a doctor's appointment that um, Thursday and then they did a CT chest scan and then you can watch my last video to see the results of those. I'm not gonna go over that again. But um, I also started antibiotics on that Thursday or that Friday. I started, I took one dose Thursday night but I started the full dose Friday and then I uploaded that video. And then Friday, was it Friday? I think it might have been Friday I started them. I don't know. I really, I, I get, it's, it's been a blur. But anyway, Saturday, um, I pretty much slept all day. I woke up around 11 o'clock that day, I think. I mean, I had to get up at 7.30 to take the antibiotics, but then I woke up at like 11 o'clock and, um, <clears throat> pretty much slept the entire day away except I woke up to eat dinner and then like went back to sleep a couple hours later. I just was exhausted that day and Saturday, I don't think, oh Saturday my oxygen dropped once. It dropped to 87 on Saturday night and it was stable the rest of the day. My heart rate was going really high on Saturday. It was like 140, 150 and I was just not feeling good. So that was Saturday. Pretty much just slept all day. On Sunday things got a little more interesting. The morning started out really well um i was I, I guess from all the sleep i had a little bit more energy my oxygen was stable my heart rate was stable ish it was still going kind of high but it's like 120 and then most of sunday i didn't do much of anything and then i got a little bit of energy sunday afternoon and probably i should not have done this but i got a little bit of energy sunday afternoon and i was like okay i'm feeling a little bit better so i decided to clean the bathroom and do laundry and start packing to go to my sister's house. Now, obviously, if you guys can tell the fact where I am, I'm not at my sister's house. That's because of what happened Sunday in the evening. But in that Sunday afternoon-ish time, I was feeling okay. And so I did this stuff and then I started feeling short of breath when I was like three-fourths of the way done with the bathroom. So I just decided to stop and take a break. And I was going to go back to it, but I don't even remember what I did between that period of time in the evening time it's I, I honestly don't remember is that bad it was two days ago i don't remember but sunday evening i had a lot of trouble i was really short of breath and my oxygen it was around like seven o'clock at night my oxygen just was everywhere um usually when i'm sitting it's fine and um we'll get to that in a minute with today but um and like it stays stable but for um, Sunday evening, it was stable when I was sitting. But anytime I stood up, it would plummet. Um, at first, it was just like 94, 93, which is okay. And then it was just getting really, really bad. I, anytime I stood up, my heart rate would shoot up quickly. My oxygen was dropping to like 84, 83. It was like 85. Um, anytime I stood up, anytime I moved, anytime I tried to even just like do anything, any little movement and my oxygen was just plummeting. And so Sunday evening, I ended up having to go to the ER because I just could not get it under control. Now, thankfully I did finally get it under control. I still went to the ER. Um, at, at this point, Sunday evening, I was very close to having to call 911 because it was just not working. Like I could not breathe. My oxygen was not doing what it was supposed to do and finally about 10 minutes after doing albuterol it did stabilize back into the mid 90s and by the time i got to the hospital of course it was at 99 percent um but i did not end up calling 911 because my dad was able to get off work early and of course this is valentine's day too so he's he works at a restaurant super busy it's just a huge mess but he was able to get off work early. I ended up going to the emergency room and spent about four hours there. They took me straight back um, because I was still short of breath at that time. But my oxygen was stable while I was there. The lowest it went while I was there was 96, which is obviously okay. And um, so um, I was there for about four hours. They ran a COVID test because they were concerned that it could be COVID, which thankfully came back negative. 
they did another x-ray well i didn't have an x-ray i had a ct done on friday so they did an x-ray and it showed pneumonia which we kind of already knew at that point my white blood cell count was high which indicates just the infection and um they gave me an albuterol treatment while i was there and that was pretty much it they didn't keep me um because i don't think they could because of covid situation and so they just said continue with the antibiotics and monitor um stuff at home which is how i've been doing since then i went to, i got to the er by eight o'clock and i got out about midnight so it was pretty pretty quick but um that was super scary like i have called 911 before but not for like almost calling 911 because of like health reasons like i was really really freaking out sunday night and i'm thankful that yeah buterol stabilized it enough that i could wait for my dad to get home so um that was sunday night and then i woke up yesterday morning and i was really tight chested i was coughing a lot for most of the day around the evening time it started getting a little bit better and um i kind of my oxygen was stable all day monday i believe i believe it was stable all day yesterday. lowest it was 94 yesterday so it was pretty much stable all day my heart rate was still going really high but it was kind of leveling out and then that brings me to today because yesterday I just pretty much did nothing. Um, the doctor at the ER told me don't do a lot. And so we also had to, I also had to like call my sister and be like, Hey, I can't watch Mason this week because I just, I legitimately can't. Um, so all day yesterday, I just rested again and I started getting a little bit evening around like 1am of course, evening. I started getting a little bit of energy around like 1am of course. So I was up till three last night, finally fell asleep, woke up this morning and felt pretty good actually i felt more like myself i felt normal i felt not normal but i breathing easier not coughing um and my heart was being a lot <laughs> nicer to me um and then this afternoon right when i think everything's loosening up again <clears throat> i was just laying in bed because i got really really tired well, sun's out yay we haven't seen the sun in a couple days magical glow anyway <laughs> i got really tired and um so i was just laying in bed and my oxygen dropped again and i didn't even move i legitimately i didn't move and it just dropped and now it dropped to 91 this was just like 30 minutes ago and i started coughing more i started feeling more congested again so i don't know what that's about um my oxygen's stable now it went back up as soon as i sat up and took a couple deep breaths and it hasn't dropped since even when i got up it stayed at 98 but that was really weird that kind of freaked me out because i was feeling short of breath and then i checked it and it was 91 so i don't know what that was about when i was literally just laying there hopefully it's just a one-off thing i do not want any other situation like uh sunday night because sunday scared the living daylights out of me so um so that's pretty much where i'm at i just want to give you guys a quick update because it has been a couple days since i picked up the camera and i miss vlogging but i don't think i'm ready to start just yet because um especially now that i'm my oxygen just dropped again like i i don't feel like i'm ready to start the full on vlogs yet but i just want to give you guys a good a bit of an update thank you guys for the sweet comments on my last video and i'm doing better mentally uh i am having a lot of anxiety because when my oxygen does things like that it makes me super anxious but uh, on the whole i'm doing better than i was on friday and uh just gonna keep keep it on i think i might have a cup of coffee because i'm tired and i'm really tired of sleeping like, it's a conundrum here, but I'm tired, but I'm tired of sleeping because... <laughs> so, anyway, um, but just thought I'd give you guys, well, a quick update. It's almost nine minutes at this point, but that's the, that's been the past four days. It's been a super crazy weekend, and I don't know why my oxygen is doing this, because normally it doesn't when I'm sick. And I'm not even as sick as I've been in the past, but I, I, don't, I don't have an explanation for it. But um, that's been the past four days, um, and hopefully things will take more of an even keel I, I don't i'm not sure when i'm gonna pick up the complete vlogs again because um i was like oh i'll do it today because i feel better and then yeah so i just need to rest but um i'm alive <laughs> i'm making it over here and hopefully the antibiotics will uh kick in a little bit more soon and things will be be a bit more stable so um but that's the update and i'll see you guys I'm gonna see ya. I can't give you a day, but hopefully not too much longer. So thank you guys for understanding and uh keep gonna keep pushing on and see ya. See us not gonna win this one. So <laughs> um I'll see you guys when I see ya and that's the update.